What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about what's going on with Harry Potter. Go over what everybody's asking me, all the recent news, recent rumors, everything about this game, okay? Now, only a few days ago, I talked about if it would be at Gamescom, which I do have an update for, which we'll get to a little bit later in this video, okay? So this is going to be kind of a recap. Hopefully, this is going to calm a lot of people down when it comes to Harry Potter, and we're going to go from there. Before I do, as I sometimes say in these videos, I do want to promote uh, my Discord server guys have not yet joined it the link for it will be in the description below we have a harry potter community there a lot of really nice people there willing to talk about pretty much anything so if you guys are new to the community you want to meet new people definitely give that uh, a go okay again uh, the link for it will be in the description below all right let's go over the gamescom thing first and then let's kind of talk about everything else so a few days ago, or maybe it was like uh, late last week, I made a video. I said, could this game be a Gamescom? Okay, I've done this for a couple different games. I want to do this for more games, right? Uh, a fun kind of series that I do often when it comes to Gamescom, E3, Game Awards, etc. And I said that I think it's possible. The more I talked about it, the more I think, uh, the more I thought that it could be likely. Now, there was a listing for Gamescom of who's going to be there. Warner Bros. is not on there. Now, that does not mean that they're not going, okay? This Gamescom, again, hosted by Jeff. Keeley, very different. It's very different in general. Gamescom in general is different than E3 and all these other award shows, but this Gamescom in particular is also different. Things are moving. Things are very fluid and things are moving. Just because a company is not on the listing does not mean that they will not be there. E3, it's a little bit more concrete if they say they're not going. For the most part, they're not, but even there, I can think of examples before where companies have said, hey, we're not going to be there, and then they're like the surprise of the show. Okay, so uh, it's not impossible that Warner Bros. isn't going to be there. It takes a little bit you know, uh, of the wind out of the sails, if that's that's the saying, right, of this Harry Potter thing. I don't think it's a guarantee. I never thought it was a guarantee that Harry Potter would appear at Gamescom, but that's what we have. Okay, so could it still be there August 27th or maybe that, that weekend? Yeah, it absolutely could. If it's not, no biggie. Here's what I want to say, because this has been a very up and down thing for, honestly, a while. Now, you may have seen me talk about Batman. You may have seen me talk about Suicide. I talk a lot about DC. I talk about a lot of games in general, though, right? I'm not, I'm not a Batman channel. I'm not an Arkham channel. I talk about all sorts of things. One thing that I love about you, the community, you guys, me talking about these videos, is, and, and not, again, like to pat myself on the back, but that I haven't given up, that I have not given up on select games. In fact, a lot of games, uh, games that are kind of a mystery or games that are unknown, that a lot of people say, ah, it's not real or it's not coming out or it's been canceled, I've held very, very strong on until the very end, okay? And so we have, like, the Batman game again. We have the Suicide Squad game. These are all games that we've gone through so much together as a group, and a lot of people have given up hope. A lot of people dropped. A lot of people said it's never real, and, and here we are, right? And we, we're, getting, we're getting rewarded. With Harry Potter... Uh, you know, I mainly am, I see people in the community, like a Slick Moth or a Degenerate J or all them, right, with, like, the Batman stuff. I don't know anybody in the Harry Potter. For all my knowledge, I'm, like, the only one who covers it, which, honestly, I feel, like, really good about. I'm really happy about. I think there's a lot of potential for this channel and for you guys and for us to kind of grow as a community as Harry Potter gets announced, as it gets bigger and bigger, because, again, for you, if there's other people, by the way, there's other people that talk about this game that are around my size of channel that you want me to to collaborate with, definitely let me know because I'm definitely open for it. But to my knowledge, this is it. This is like my channel is it. Uh, which again is not something I'm saying like to gloat or anything. But the the point of it is this. And this is honestly what I want you guys to take away from this. We've been through so much. Specifically talking about Harry Potter, we've been through a lot. I started covering this game. Well, firstly, I you know I was part of the whole October 2018 leak stuff. Okay, I, I knew about that then. I covered this game uh, in the in 2019, leading into E3 that year, and I haven't stopped since. Literally, I have not stopped. I've been I, I've been probably the most consistent, if not the most consistent, Harry Potter mystery game creator on this channel. Okay, I don't think there's anybody that can even give me a run for my money. And and again, not to gloat, but we've been through this together. There's been times I remember making videos saying. Hey, the g I believe the game is not canceled. I'm not giving up on this game. That's what I want you guys to think. This game is real. This game is happening. I get that there's been no news. I get that we don't have all that much to go off of. But look, we do have. We actually do. That's the thing with game leaks and game rumors that people, I feel like, get a little uh, crazy about is unless it's constantly you know, like, unless there's leaks daily or weekly or whatever, then people either forget about it or think that, oh, there's nothing coming out about it, whether it be official or, you know, through, like, the grapevine, so it must not be real. 
But in all reality, that's not how games work, right? Some games have that happen. Oftentimes, it happens the most when they're closest to being announced or closest to an event. Remember, I always talk about it when we get to E3, when we get to Gamescom, all these things. Everybody and their mom knows something about the uh, about a game now. You know what I mean? There's always a leak. There's always rumors. Reddit's got like trillions of people saying stuff, but they don't all know things. In fact, the majority of them don't. They're only saying it because they're trying to capitalize on the the convention or the conference or whatever, right? So like Harry Potter, we do have stuff. We have, and in fact, let me go to the most reliable source again, as I always do, Jason Shire. Now again, I don't like the guy. I really actually don't like the guy, but in terms of leaking, he's phenomenal. What has he said? The game was supposed to be announced at E3. Now I get it. E3 was canceled, or if you want to even not take that approach and you say, okay, it was supposed to be at E3, but it wasn't at E3, so oh my god, Alex, is it canceled? I mean, think about it, okay? Think about it. And I'm not picking on anybody, not a single person, but I, and because I'm walking you through it. Think about it. E3, they were supposed to show Suicide Squad, Batman, Harry Potter, and more. That was the tweet. That's what he said. What's been ha what's happened since? Well, E3 was canceled, okay? Suicide Squad is a real game. Rock City's game is real, and we're seeing it at DC Phantom. The Batman game, yeah, you can argue with me all you want that it's not real or it's, it's real, okay? It's real, and it's going to be announced at DC Phantom. Two for two. What's the third game? Harry Potter. The thing that I made the argument for for Gamescom was that if this game was supposed to be announced at E3... You know, it's already supposed to be announced during the summertime. You can't let it wait all that much longer, okay? So it really should be announced relatively soon, okay? Whether it's Gamescom, whether it's September, whether it's October, you know, whenever it is, I think it's going to be announced before the end of the year. I don't think it's going to be Game Awards either. I think it's going to be before that. I honestly feel like over the next month or two, because they're going to show Batman, they're going to show Suicide Squad, they may show Injustice, they, show, they may show Monolith. They're showing literally all of their major studios, okay? They do have more studios than that. Uh, TT Games, which is the one that does the Lego games, I mean, they're doing Lego Star Wars. Almost all all, in fact, basically all of Warner Bros.'s biggest studios are, are announcing their games or releasing their, or, you, know, you know what I mean? We're like, we're in that area for almost every single one. Why would they leave Harry Potter out? Okay, so Harry Potter, so like that's the main thing. There was one other thing to talk about, but I really want to just drill it in people's heads. Don't worry. I, I know it gets worrying. I know it gets like, again, because there's no info on it, that it's not real, but I mean, that's just factually not true. The other Jason Shire thing was a thing that was published in Bloomberg, what, like two, three weeks ago, where he literally talked to the employees about the whole J.K. Rowling thing, and he confirmed that the game is still real. It's coming out in the in the fall of 2021, which is what I said. It's what I said, literally. I, I'm, I'm, I think Harry Potter is the thing that I'm going to be the most correct on of anything I've talked about on this channel. And so, again, you, you may not like the guy or whatever, but he's super, super reliable with his leaks, and he literally talked to them. Now, does the J.K. Rowling stuff affect this game? I really don't think so. I think maybe even they think so. I think even he kind of put a lot of stock into it. I mean, come on. There's statements. Nobody really cares about her anywhere, anyway. If you're going to let her statements affect you, and whether you support or, or don't support her statement, I'm not even saying, you know what I mean? It doesn't even matter what you think. But, like, if, if that impacts you, I mean, it's just a person. Like, who cares about what J.K. Rowling thinks? Honestly, I mean, if, if you like her story, you like her story with Harry Potter, besides that, I could care less. You know what I mean? And she does have involvement in the game, but it's not all that much. You know, we've already been through all that, okay? So I really don't think that's impacted it. So anybody that says, oh, well, maybe that stuff has pushed this game back, no. What I think, honestly, is that it was supposed to be at E3, and they just haven't found a good spot to announce it yet. Obviously, E3 was going to be that major, because everybody's watching E3. E3 is the big thing, right? And so that is where everybody in the world is looking to. And so if you were planning on doing it there, and it's not happening anymore, right? It didn't happen. You need to find a replacement. And DC Fandom is the replacement for all the DC stuff that would have been at at, uh, at E3, okay? Because it's a, I mean, it's a perfect replacement. Harry Potter is a lot harder. Now, I know Harry Potter Fandom, that, like, URL exists, but, I mean... What would you do there? Would you announce this game and would you announce some news on Fantastic Beast 3? Because Fantastic Beast 3 is also going through its whole thing. It was supposed to film. It got delayed because of the whole stuff around the world. It's going to film eventually. So do you announce stuff with that and then you say, oh, and also we have gaming news. Let's show you this game. You know what I mean? They could just be waiting for another moment. Now, Gamescom to me is that other moment. It's kind of like a the poor man's E3. Now, it's different. And honestly, we can get some pretty cool things from Gamescom. Uh, but, I mean, that's the closest thing you're going to 
get for right now, okay, besides their own event. So that's why I said Gamescom. If it's not a Gamescom and they don't do a Harry Potter fandom, honestly, I don't know what they're doing, but I do think that it's still going to get announced really, really soon. Again, probably like, I don't even know, like September? I, I really think it should get announced before like the end of October. I really, really do. Two years. October will be two years since the leak of the game. So I really do think it's got to be before the end of October. Now, final thing to kind of close this video out and, and also in this way offer a little uh, pessimism, a little negative energy to it. Again, I, as you've seen from this video, I've been in full support of Harry Potter. I, I think the game's real. I think the game's going to announce all that. Look, the leak said it's going to be a DC fandom. I really just want to throw out a window, okay? It, now, could I? Could this sound really stupid and very outdated in a week and a half if they announce it at DC fandom? Yeah, I mean, I could look pretty darn dumb, and that's fine. I've been wrong before. I'm sure I'll be wrong again, and, and that's just something. I will accept the loss, by the way, if I'm going to jinx myself and say it's not a DC fandom and then it's at DC fandom. I'll take that. I mean, I really don't you know what I mean like that's the greatest thing to happen so it doesn't matter it's just in my mind that leak saying it's going to be a DC fandom makes absolutely zero sense Harry Potter is not DC and I get people saying well what if they do a tease for it and they say hey look for it at this date like we're going to do this I guess but I really I just it's not DC why would it be same reason for monolith that monolith studio or monolith productions which are the makers of the middle earth games okay that's not DC why are they going well it's probably because they're making a DC game otherwise they wouldn't be going. Even in uh, the DC Phantoms frequently asked questions, okay, their FAQs, it asks, okay, is this only DC? DC exclusive Warner Bros. content. And they said, yes, it's not one specific part of DC content. It's all of DC content, but it is only DC. So that's comics, that's TV, that's movies, that's uh, that's games, that's, ev that's art, everything. But it's only DC. Did you hear Middle Earth in there? No. Did you hear Harry Potter in there? No, it's not. It's only DC. So that leak that, that's going around, I think it's just trying to capitalize again on excitement. Don't fall for it. Now, it, could it be there and I could be really stupid right now? Absolutely. And again, I hope I am, but I just don't want people expecting that it's, it's good because if people are expecting that it's going to be at a thing called DC fandom and then it's not there and people are mad, I really have no sympathy for those people that are mad. You know what I mean? I get, I get people being upset. I get people being disappointed. I get people wanting it to be announced. But if people are going to hype themselves up over Harry Potter being at a DC event and then it's not there and then they're going to get mad at the game for that, that is just not – that's not right. I really hope none of you do that. I really do because I, I will not support that because that's just an absolute joke. Again, if it's there, that's awesome, but I just I, it's just not something that I expect at all. Again, I'm fully with people. I want this game announced. I, I'm so excited. Literally every day that goes by, I am so I just rewatched all eight Harry Potter films like two weeks ago and it got me like I cannot wait to experience something like that in the game. I am so pumped. But I've been through this before. I've covered this before. I've been on YouTube a long time. You got to just be patient. The game is real. It's not canceled. Nothing's gone wrong with it. I mean, I'm sure it's gotten pushed because of the thing that went around the world. Everything has gotten pushed because of that, okay? I still think it's coming out fall of 2021. I still think we're getting an announcement before the end of this year. Hopefully, again, like before the end of October. I just don't think it's a DC fandom. I want it to be a Gamescom. I think it's still possible. I think it's unlikely now, though, and hopefully it's sometime very, very soon, okay? Hopefully that cleared up everything. Hopefully that was all of the main questions. Uh, I get asked because those are normally like the three, four things I get asked the most. I love making these videos. I love having you guys watching. We've built such an amazing community. You guys are, at, I, I really do mean this too. And I don't say this enough, but I really do appreciate all of you guys for watching. Again, I love making these videos. I want to make more. We will make more. If it's not a DC fandom, maybe I can talk about that. I'll talk about, you know, if there's anything that happens Harry Potter related, I'll absolutely cover it. Again, let me know. For my knowledge, there's literally nobody else that covers this. If there is somebody that covers this, let me know maybe we can do a collaboration i'm into doing collaborations so uh definitely just let me know in the comments below let me know your thoughts what are you guys thinking about harry potter make sure as always you guys are subscribed have the bell icon turned on so you know when all the harry potter videos go up and i will see you all on the next one